it's Michael from Iso Electric. Today I'll be installing a NEMA 1450. It's gonna be inside my previous customer's garage. Uh, she called me that her son started to pick up some welding classes and he wants to practice at home. The normal 120 volt 15 amp plug is not sufficient and it has been tripping. We'll be installing the 50 amp plug with six gauge wire and that's going to be definitely powerful enough for his uh, 30 amp welder and it's going to be future proof in case they get a EV and they want it to charge at home as well. Once I get there I will walk you guys through how I take care of this installation. Okay so we got the panel here. put the screw back so you don't lose it well first let me see if the breaker fits There you go, it actually fits. So let's take these guys off so I can work in the panel. Probably this guy is gonna be better. That's two. Let's take this guy off. screws back so we don't lose them so I'll be turning off the main breaker So this is a multi-branch circuit, so you always have to have them on separate poles, separate, separate phases. So you see this guy, it goes to this. So let's just turn on the main and check if that's a different phase. Should be 240, which it is. So that's good. Turn these off, turn the paint off, tape the exposed terminals here, just so I don't accidentally push anything into that. And it is a 20 amp breaker, so you gotta have to make sure that the wire is ready for that, which this is a 12 gauge wire, which is good. I'll just double check. That nothing's hot except the main. Looks like we're good. So let me take this one out. Take this one out. The bus bar looks good. It's not corroded. This is definitely an old panel, Sylvania brand. So we'll recommend that the customer in the near future upgrades to a new panel. So panel is about four, I mean five feet from that wall. 
and about 45 inches from the bottom. Yeah, that would work. Let's make a pilot hole and see where we are. The other side. Yep, that worked. vacuum out the panel like that comes the tricky part Nice and level. Let me see if this is going to be long enough. I have some off cuts from a previous installation. So now it's time for the main breaker. Okay, so this is my 50 amp breaker. Goes down into the nipple. And we got neutral coming up to the neutral bar. We got ground sharing the, the, the neutral bar for grounding bar. Again, this being um, main panel, you share neutrals and ground together. Let me put the cover back on. So let's see. Main is on. Everything is on except the 50 amp breaker. So let's do that outlet and then we can test it out. So I'm putting a grounding screw into 
to my box. So the box is grounded. Let's do that first. Box is grounded. Yeah, so the secret to the plug here is you gotta make sure you make space for the outlet so you have to loop around. So it's nice and lay it out before you close it in. And of course, make sure that you don't pinch any wires. Just double check. Everything looks good. So that's the NEMA 1450. Boom. Nothing blew up, which is good. So we got 246. We got 120. We got 120. Should be zero. Hot to ground. One twenty. Hot to ground. One twenty. Perfect. Everything's looking good. I'll gather my tools and present this to the customer. So we have another successful installation. Customer was happy. Her son will be able to weld in their garage. The welder is a 30 amp rated welder and the outlet is rated for up to 50 amps. So that's going to be plenty sufficient for him. She was happy. She left a nice review for me. But thanks for watching and see you at the next one. Ciao.